For some, it's a serious sport. For others, it's just a way to let loose. Despite its casual association with fun and sun, surfing has a richer and deeper history in film than many may realize. The earliest known footage of people surfing was in the 1906 silent film called Hawaiian Islands. Hawaiian Islands was produced by Thomas Edison, yes, the great inventor of the light bulb, which was made up of over 30 segments portraying unique Polynesian culture, of which three dedicated scenes depicted people surfing. No one can deny the influence Hawaiian Islands had on promoting adventure tourism in the unfamiliar pastime of surfing to mainland America and sequentially to the rest of the world. Taking what Thomas Edison started, the surf film genre was then pioneered by Bruce Brown in the late 1950s. The surf film genre was now well established and defined by surfers traveling with their friends and documenting the experience on film. In this era, Bruce Brown and other surf filmmakers began debuting their films to rowdy fans in music halls, civic centers, high school gyms, and auditoriums. Ironically, this tradition still holds true today. Then came along Gidget. Geared towards teen freedom, fun, and sexuality, Gidget in the beach party films of the 1960s launched surfing onto the big screen in mainstream America forever. Beach party films were produced between 1958 and 1968 and broke through the typical surf film documentary styles by utilizing surfing as a backdrop to the overall plot of the film. This style of surf films laid the foundation for future box office hits such as Big Wednesday, 1978, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 1982, North Shore, 1987, In God's Hands, 1998, Soul Surfer, 2011, Surfs Up 1 and 2, 2017, and of course, Point Break. Back to the basics. Just like the original surf film, Hawaiian Islands, the stories of adventure and surfing in far off remote portions of the globe never dies. Starting in the 1990s to the present, the market for surf films surged with the release of more affordable video cameras. Furthermore, large surf brands solidified the genre by sponsoring surf films to promote clothing and product sales. Titles like The Search, by surfing corporate giant Rip Curl, redefined the genre with exotic locales, big budgets, and top name surfers such as Tom Kern and Kelly Slater. Whether it is to promote adventure, tourism, an Olympic sport, or just freedom, fun, and sexuality, surfing films are steeped in history and the future of this film genre is guaranteed to be exciting.